you come in riding a bit of a streak. You'd been undefeated in your last seven with one tie worked in with the wins, facing a team that came in with a two and eight record. Were you worried about, since you have such a young team, were you worried about the focus against an opponent like this? Well, you're always worried in every game because uh, at this level, um, any team can beat you, you know, on, on any given night. So you have to put your best foot forward. You have to make sure that you're doing the things that, that you prepare for. And, um, and we did, you know, and we got the goal often uh, and had a number of uh, quality chances and finished, you know, several of them. So it was a nice night for our fellas. Did you and the other coaches talk to the players about it or did you leave that up to the upperclassmen to sort of make sure everyone's focused? No, we, we spoke to them before the game to make sure that they were tuned in and, and uh, knew the importance of the result. Um, obviously, we got some very difficult games uh, coming up. We don't want to... Uh, uh, we didn't want to get ahead of ourselves, so we uh, focused, you know, tonight on, on Central Arkansas. Now we'll turn the page and and deal with South Florida. Obviously, you look at the scoreboard: 7-0 final score. You outshoot them 23 to two. Did your team play as well in your mind as they looked on the stat sheet? Oh, they played very well, and then, you know, it was it was a great opportunity for some of uh, our players that haven't gotten a, a great deal of time throughout the year. Um, to come in, and, and we were really happy and pleased with the way they played, you know, because uh, it, it just adds depth uh, to your team um, as you go into the conference play. You know, there's the chance of someone getting hurt or injury or, or high, obviously, and, and uh, have, knowing that you have people all off, the, off the bench that can step in and, and do the job is, uh, is key. A lot of times you'll go into halftime within a goal one way or the other or tied. Today you went in 4-0 in yeah. the lead. What did you and your coaches talk, talk about at halftime? Well, we felt pretty confident that we would get the result at that point. Um, you know, we were uh, committed to coming out and, and playing good soccer and wanted to make sure that we were pushing ourselves. And then, you know, also, uh, you know, the opportunity for other players to, that haven't played in a, in a, in a lot of games uh, to get some time. Uh, it was important for them to get as much time as they possibly could. So, uh, you know, we came out in the second half with a very strong lineup and, and uh, you know, we're fortunate to get a few goals. We've talked so much this year about the young guys on your team. Mm -hmm. Damian Rosales is a senior, scored two goals before this year, and now he has three in three games. Yeah. What's gotten into him? Uh, he, he's, he's, I mean, he's, he's a starter, you know, uh, and, and he's, been a, he's been a starter. He's been coming off the bench this year because of his injury, but, you know, he's just been getting better and better, and, and uh, you know, I think his hunger for scoring goals and, and, uh, and his career after uh, SMU – uh, you know, keeps him going. So yeah, I think he'll, he'll have a long, uh, a long career when he's done here. Another senior who hadn't scored a single goal before tonight, yeah. Will Smith, gets two goals in about three minutes, including yeah. one on a bicycle kick. How good was that to see that for him? Uh, it was great. You know, I mean, obviously Will was a, is such a valuable part of the team. You know, been with us for four years, and, and uh, you know, to not have scored a goal up to this point, you know, he's pretty frustrated. So for him to score a goal and, and then also get the second one, that was great for him. Obviously, you came in on a bit of a high. You'd been on a streak. Now you're ranked 21st in the country. Saturday night, you get South Florida, mm -hmm. which is ranked 24th and won the conference tournament. Uh, what do you want to see cleaned up or tweaked between now and, and Saturday night? Well, we just want to be playing at our best. We want everybody healthy. We want everybody firing on all cylinders. And, uh, you know, we know it's going to be a very difficult match um, against a very good USF team. And, uh, you know, we just want to make sure that we're doing everything that we possibly can to, you know, to, to get the result.